Hi everyone, I'm Lina from the Ministry of Environment and Water Malaysia. Today I'm going to talk about Green Technology Master Plan, a plan that supports the development of green growth in Malaysia. To support the green agenda, Malaysia has developed a few policies. Here I'll give you a few examples. The first one is National Policy on the Environment. It has been established for continuous economic, social and cultural progress and enhancement of the quality of life of Malaysians through environmentally sound and sustainable development. The next one is the National Green Technology Policy. It recognizes the importance of green technologies. One of the main aims is to provide a conducive environment for green technology development. Then, National Climate Change Policy that helps to ensure development that is resilient to climate change in order to meet the country's aspirations to achieve sustainable development. The 11th Malaysia Plan was released on 21st May 2015 it is a five-year national plan that crafted the road for the country's advancement. This is an improvement from the 10th Malaysia Plan, which did mention the environment, but this is the first time that the green angle gets featured as a main strategic thrust. Then comes the Green Technology Master Plan, 2017 to 2030, it is an outcome of the 11th Malaysia Plan. So, the GTMP was launched on 12 October 2017, also during iGEM, at iGEM 2017 opening ceremony. It provides actionable strategic directions to support the national green technology policy. It aligns the existing green technology related policies and action plans with the strategic direction of the 11th Malaysia Plan. The Green Technology Master Plan also serves as a guidance to foster interministerial collaboration to address grey areas where overlapping authorities are observed. Based on the National Green Technology Policy, GTMP outlined five strategic thrusts to suit the goal of mainstreaming green technology. First thrust is market enablers. The government will play a significant role by making a concerted effort to change the government procurement culture. For human capital development thrust, it will be done in partnership with university. This would include exploring new delivery systems of learning and skills training. The RNDNC direction will be forged through a network of experts and research consortiums. For institutional framework thrust, governance will be strengthened to facilitate cross-sectoral cooperation among government bodies. And the last one is promotion and awareness. If you notice, IGEM is one of the programs under this thrust. The first edition of GTMP focuses on six key sectors. GTMP attempts to harmonize the policy directions of each sector towards a common goal of sustainable utilization of natural resources. The six sectors are energy, manufacturing, transportation, building, waste, and water. Each sector has its own challenges. Based on the challenges and recommendations, several key areas have been identified, as shown in the figure. These areas will serve as points for action plans to be formulated. In order to address challenges of the six sectors, engagement with uh, stakeholders involving 300 representatives from the government agencies, industry, NGOs, and academia were conducted to understand the root causes of the issues and to identify areas where the government 
could play a role to address them. From the engagement, the stakeholders agreed that the future of the green technology in Malaysia would be affected by the following factors. Policy direction and synergies among stakeholders, economic instruments, infrastructure and facilities, cost, efficiency and energy prices, technology advancement and innovation, awareness, education and employment. The contribution of green technology towards the economic growth, cleaner environment and enhanced well-being is critical. Realizing this, the Government of Malaysia aims to build a firm foundation towards low-carbon growth to augment the reduction of GHG, thereby not only fulfilling the 45% carbon intensity reduction pledge, but going beyond to join hands with the global community to achieve SDGs. The GTMP is crafted to pave the way to achieve ambitious targets come 2020 and 2030. GTMP positions Malaysia at the forefront of the global movement in climate change mitigation while fulfilling its needs to leapfrog and becoming a high-income nation driven by green growth. For the way forward, GTMP will be revised, other sectors will be included in GTMP and we will also review all the targets in GTMP based on the current scenarios. That is the end of my slide. So I hope you gain something useful from my presentation. For more information on GTMP and to read the whole document, you can scan this QR code. Or you can access the document through this link. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you for your time. And thank you for joining us at iGEM 2020. Be safe, stay safe, and take care. Bye.